Hello and welcome to Region 1. This is Pagburnayan and it is used by the Ilocano people to store water, rice grains, and condiments. Welcome to Region 2. This is Bakul and the Ibatan people use trees to protect themselves from the sun and rain. From Region 3, we have the dream catchers from Bataan. The dream catchers protect the children from bad dreams and evil spirits. In Region 4A, we have the making of Higante in Rizal. This gives temporary employment to the people and also markets their town for tourism. Welcome to Region 5. In Region 5, we have Albay or ceramics, or you can also call it pottery. It became the main livelihood of the people and became a way to have a good quality of life. Mayang Adlao. This is Region 6, Negros Occidental from Macaulay City. So we have Bao, the unbowed carabao, which is a five ton carabao sculpture perched on a concrete platform and is made of concrete, brass, and tessera. And now we are in Region 7, Central Visayas Cebu City. So we have the Lapu Lapu Shrine. So the Lapu Lapu Shrine is a 20 meter bronze statue located in the Mactan Shrine Park in Punta Ingan. And now, we are in Region 8, Eastern Visaya. So, Biliran. So, Biliran, which is derived from a native grass called Biliran, which is used for weaving mats. Welcome to Region 9. This is the Yakan. The geometric and colorful patterns of the Yakans are among the widely sought after souvenirs and items by the local and foreign tourists. Welcome to Region 10. This is the Taong Koko, Taong Bao, which means reverence of the earth and the voice of the sea. You can see the sculpture in Kamigin, Enigmata Treehouse, Echo Lodge, and Art Camp. Welcome to Region 11. This is one of their most popular textiles that is called Dagmai, a hand woven cloth designed with patterns of a man and crocodile, for which the Mandayo weavers are known for. Welcome to Region 12. Anthropomorphic burial jars by Maitum are earthenware pots that resemble human figures. These burial jars are significant because they highlight Filipinos' common belief in life and death. Welcome to Region 13 or the Caraga Region. For the Caraga Region, we have the Nuzas Agsam accessories from the Nito plant. It is homegrown so that they can sustain the livelihoods of around 100 households. Welcome to the Mimaropa region. In the Mindoro province, they are known for their Mangyan bracelet and necklaces. The importance are, these are not only for decorations, but also for magical, religious, and judiciary purposes. Welcome to the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao. This region is best represented by the woven textiles of Basilan that serve as their source of income, identity, and food. And now, let me take you to the Cordillera Administrative Region's Tinalik. Tinalik is a weaved grain container made by the Igorots. It is an artistic expression of the essence of farming in their daily lives. Welcome to the National Capital Region. We have here the artwork named Kiping. It is a leaf-shaped wafer made of rice that completes the Pahayas festival of Lokban, Quezon City. 